Hi, in this video we shall be developing a vector of progressive modeling using Stella. So uh, it's if the first time you are watching one of my video, do subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking on the red button uh, at the right at the bottom of your screen. And don't hesitate to uh, activate the notification bell and let me a like and be a pleasure for me to uh, produce more video. So coming back in uh, power modeling, power modeling is a modeling a method that is used in order to uh, put into relationship one, uh, two or more variables. So this data is not uh, very difficult to implement variables. Well, first uh, condition to uh, implement bar model as most of uh, econometric methods uh, is to uh, have a stationary variable. So uh, the, this tutorial will not uh, will suppose that all our variables are uh, stationary. So we have, uh, for example, in this uh, in our database. Uh, GDP in current local currency, we have the fixed uh, gross fixed cover formation, we have general government final consumption, uh, we have uh, GDP growth as well as general government investment. So we use uh, all those variables in order to analyze the impact of uh, uh, government investment on, uh, on GDP. Economic growth. So, uh, in order to uh, implement implement such a model in Stella using uh, just a drop down menu, just need to go in statistics. Uh, when you are statistics, you go to. Uh, so, the first step is to uh, first of all set the order that to be uh, a time series. So, uh, set the order that to be a time series, go in statistics. Time uh, series, set up utility, and go to uh, declare to be a time series data. So uh, just select your uh, time variable, which is called here. here. So uh, you have uh, possibility to set a uh, panel ID, but it's not the case for this uh, example, for this tutorial, because we are running a standard bar. So uh, when we have choose for uh, here variable for time variable, we can set if uh, our variable are uh, variable are daily, weekly, monthly, uh, quarterly, and so on. So we use the format of the time variable here, which is the uh, option by default. Then we click on OK. So uh, our Database are been set as, uh, as as time series, so we can also use the command uh, st set and then uh, add the name of our uh, time uh, variable and click on OK. You can see that our variable our, uh, our database have been set. As, uh, as, as time set. So to run a uh, bar modeling in Stata, just need to go to statistic and then go to uh, multivariate time series, then uh, select uh, vector of progressive model. So uh, select your variable, you have GDP, you have cross fixed cover of formation. You have General government and consumption, we have a general government investment. So, that here are different variables that we are going to use in order to uh, make a world bar model. So, we have, uh, we can select if you have a homogeneous variable here. So, we keep uh, uh, like this because just we don't even have a an exogenous variable. So then we click on OK. 
you can see that our raw model has been uh, generated. We have uh, different uh, result of our raw model. We have here coefficient, we have uh, the p value, we have uh, lab value of the GDP lap wall value of GDP which is significant because uh, the p-value is uh, less than 5% meaning that uh, GDP uh, lap value of GDP impact uh, significantly and positively on the GDP so we have uh, cross fixed carbon formation lap wall value which is significant and the lap two value is not significant uh, does, and the impact of uh, cross fixed carbon formation is negative, meaning that when uh, cross fixed carbon formation increases, uh, the GDP uh, rather decreases. So we have also uh, general government finance and absorption, which uh, is not uh, significantly impacting the GDP. But uh, general government investment impact on GDP at lap two, uh, meaning that when uh, general government investment uh, took uh, it take uh, two period in order to have a significant impact on the GDP. So we can also uh, analyze uh, our variable uh, our model where we take into consideration the cross fixed carbon formation as uh, first as dependent variable explained by uh, other variable like GDP cross fixed carbon formation, general government absorption and general government investment. So uh, that's how we can interpret our model using uh, coefficient and p value. So that's it for this uh, video that will just uh, to show you how to uh, implement and interpret the bar modeling uh, in Excel. And if you have not yet uh, subscribed to the YouTube channel, don't, do not hesitate to do so. And let me give a thumbs up and it will be a pleasure for me to come back to you a little bit soon.